This video is to show you how to install Oracle Database 19C. Open your browser, go to oracle.com. Click on the little icon, click on Oracle Database. Oracle Database 19C is the long-term support release offering customers premier and extended support through March 2023 and March 2026, respectively. Click on Download Oracle Database 19C. Here we have couple downloads uh, based on the operating system. I'm downloading for Windows operating system. Click on the zip file, accept the license agreement and download the file. You have to sign in. If you don't have an Oracle account, you can create an account here. I have already downloaded it. This is the file Windows X64 193000 db underscore home. I'm extracting using 7-zip. I'm extracting this to C drive app. I'm uh, creating a new folder called app and under app, I'm creating another subfolder called Oracle. And I'm naming the extract folder as db underscore home. The extraction takes couple minutes. So here is the extracted folder db underscore home. The extract is still going on. Okay, the extract completed successfully. If you go to this folder db underscore home, scroll to the bottom, right click on the setup file and run as administrator. You have to run as administrator, otherwise you cannot install the software. Here are the configuration options. We will configure one by one. The first option is the database installation options. Under that we have two options to select. One is create and configure a single instance database. And the second option is to set up software only. If you go with the second option, only software will be installed and no database will be created. I will choose the first option as I wanted to create a database instance as well. Click next. The second option is the system class. Under this we have desktop class and server class. If you go with the server class, you have more options uh, to configure like data files, table spaces, memory properties, and how many instances we want, the instance name, and so on. If you go with the desktop class, everything will be default. I'm choosing the desktop class and clicking next. The next option is the Oracle home user. This user is used to control Oracle services. Oracle itself is recommending to, you to choose virtual account or specify a standard Windows user account for this purpose. I'll go with the use virtual account. Click next. The next option is the typical installation. Under this you have, you have some properties to specify. The first one is the Oracle base where you wanted to install. The next one is the software location. This is where we started our installation from. We cannot change this. And the next one is the database file location. And I want to leave that as default under C, App, Oracle, or a data. Database edition, enterprise edition, I'll leave that as default. Character set, I'll leave it as Unicode. And global database name, I'll leave the name as default. And I'm specifying the password here, which will be the administrator password. That is for sys user. The next option is create a container database. Starting from 12C, you have a concept called container database where you can uh, plug multiple databases to a container. So I leave that checkbox default and I'm also leaving the pluggable database name as default, which is ORCLPDB. We have a warning message here which says the admin password entered does not contain the Oracle recommended standards. Since this is a test database, I'm okay with that. Click next. One more warning window. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Prerequisite checks are going on. And this is the 
summary of your installation. You can save this response file for your reference. I'm saving it in the same folder where I'm installing the database that is under C, App, Oracle. Click Save. Click Install. The installation takes some time, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the system resources. I will pause the video and we will get back once the installation is complete. The installation completed successfully. Click on close. Now let's try connecting to the database from the command line. Click on search, cmd, type sql plus no log, connect as sysdba. We have successfully connected to the database. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.